Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Ainian. In this video, I'm going to show you how to draw trees with markers. These are four trees I will work through in this video. If you want to practice drawing more trees, I have another video for you. I will provide link here so you can check it out later. These are some drawing materials you will need to follow along with this tutorial. Same with my another video, I will draw a simple version of the tree, then we will move on to something a little bit more complicated. Okay, let's get started. First, we need to simplify the overall shape of the pine tree. We can think of it as a cylinder and a cone on the top. Then you need to decide a light source. I will use different strokes to simulate different types of tree leaves. For the pine tree, I won't draw their leaves one by one. Instead, I will think them as different groups of clumps. So I will only draw the overall shape of different groups. I always start coloring by using the lightest color, because later if you want to add more shading, you can use a darker color to overlap it, and it will be able to cover it. However, if you started with a darker color, later you decide some area need to be lighter, then you won't be able to cover it with a lighter color. For cases like that, you actually can use a white color pencil apply on top of a darker color, then the color will appear lighter. At this step, make sure your marker strokes follow the direction of the leaves, so it will create an illusion of leaf textures. I let the first two colors dry before I go over them with the darkest shade because I don't want this color blend with other two colors here. In this way, the shape of the stroke will show better. So this is the final look of this tree. I'm drawing more lines to define each object and add more textures to it. You can draw a silhouette of some trees in the background by doing some simple parallel lines and one vertical line. Okay, using the same technique, we're gonna do another practice.
The quicker you draw, the less ink will attach to the paper, so you will get a lighter shade. I draw fast on the highlighter part, then slow it down and apply more strength on the mid-tone and core shadow area. Here I'm using kind of like a curved stroke to add textures to this tree. Like I mentioned before, you will use different strokes for different types of trees. Check out different reference pictures, then try to simplify the shape and the form of the tree leaves. If you have correction pen or any type of white acrylic paint, you can add highlight here to add more contrast. So it is very simple to draw a tree like this. The main thing you will need to focus on is what types of stroke you want to use and try to be consistent. Okay, now let's move on to something a little bit more complicated. This time, we will simplify the overall shape of the tree as one cylinder and multiple cones on top of each other. And I will draw more lines to create an illusion of needle leaves, but I will still draw them as different groups. Basically, I'm drawing lots of parallel lines to form different groups of clumps.
When you are drawing anything in the background, you can use a smaller size ink pen, or you can just lift your pen and tilt it a little bit. Then the last ink will attach to the paper, so you can draw the thinner line. The coloring technique here is still the same, but instead of using white strokes, here I will draw more lines.
Here I'm using correction pen a lot since I added too much dark color. If you have white color pencil, you can use that as well. I use correction pen to add highlight and to create more texture. So the coloring technique for this tree is fairly simple. The most time I spend is actually at the very beginning, drawing the outlines. Okay, let's do the last practice. This time I will use marker to do outlines. Compared to the second tree, here instead of drawing wide strokes, I draw groups of different lines to show more details. Here I actually didn't do well applying this color on the edge because I used two different strokes when they overlap with each other 
it looks a little bit messy, but I'm glad I can use a darker shade later to add more details and depths, so hopefully we can fix this. Now I'm using the ink pen to define some edges. It will also create some textures. With only a few marker colors, you can still draw lots of different interesting things. If you enjoyed this video and want to learn more sketching and drawing skills, consider subscribing. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next video.